Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to do a little experiment because you know how I just love little experiments. Uh, this is concerning removing the film that sometimes forms over uh, powder products that doesn't let you get any more of the product out. So I had done an empties video recently where I showed this as in the trash. And it was in the trash because it had formed this film. And if you can see it, this is, it's become darker. It's kind of glossy and you can't get any of the powder out anymore. This is what it's supposed to look like. And with this one, it's easy to, you know, just get a little powder on. But this one, nothing comes off on your brush. And I had suggested that maybe this batch was mixed wrong or baked wrong or something. And of course, I was wrong. Uh, so many viewers wrote in and said, you know what, that happens because you get the oils from your face or the oils from your lotions and potions on your brush. And over time, it transfers onto the product and it absorbs it to the point where it forms a film and that the film could easily be removed and that you could keep using the product and not have it be in the trash. And I was so happy to hear this because, you know, I hate to throw away half of a $38 product. So thanks everybody for all the great suggestions. You know, this is what I love so much about YouTube is that it's not just me telling you stuff, it's you telling me stuff because obviously I don't know everything, right? Uh, there were three good suggestions of ways to fix this. They were all sort of basically the same, which is that you need to remove and scrape off this top layer. But a bunch of people had suggested using a plastic knife to scrape it away. So I have a plastic knife. A bunch of other people had suggested using a spoolie to do it, and so I have a spoolie, and yet somebody else had suggested using packing tape. So I have all three here today, and I'm going to give it a try, and we're going to see which one works better, and we'll get the information out there for people who, like me, didn't know that this was caused, and apparently it's very common, and it happens on a lot of powder products. As a matter of fact, it's happening right now on my blush, my very favorite blush. So whatever works best for this, I'm going to try on this. So like I said in the beginning, a little science experiment. So let's get started and see which one works the best at solving this problem. All right, step into my lab, everyone. Uh, I've divided this up into three sections using a pencil. And would you look at that with the pencil, you can already see that right below the surface is nice powder ready to go. So let's try the plastic knife first. All right, and I'm going to do that over here on this side. And yes, the plastic knife works just dandy. Let's see. You do get some little marks in it. Uh, and it's not perfectly even, it's a little, you know, ridge now, but that's okay. We still get down to the product and it works. All right, let's go for solution number two, which was the spoolie. And just scrub at it a little bit with the spoolie. Oh, I like the spoolie, that's nice. All right, so let's see, the spoolie seems to be uh, you know, kind of nice that it doesn't give those ridges like the knife part does, but it's also not quite as effective as getting the really deep, thick parts. All right, so let's move on to the packing tape and see what happens with that. Okay, so with the packing tape, I'm just going to put that on, press it in place, pull that off. Hmm, that's not bad either. Do another round. Might need a second piece. I wonder if you could just do this with plain old scotch tape. Hold on. So this is how it came out with just the packing tape. Again, pretty good, but some spots still remaining. So I've got some pieces of scotch tape here on my fingers. I'm just going to try some plain old scotch tape and see how that does. That works just as well as packing tape. Ooh, scotch tape works really, really well. That took off the rest of that. And let me try the scotch tape over here on the uh, on the spoolie side. I think it's better if I rub it with my fingernail than if I do it with. Ooh, very nice. So that is awesome. Look, a new working compact. So I don't have to throw this one away. I don't have to waste the money and neither do you. So if any of your powders have gone off like this, I think the method that I preferred was the scotch tape. I mean, we all have it in our house already. It seemed to be the quickest and the easiest and give the most even result while lifting away the least amount of powder. I wanted to say thanks so much to Still Cheryl 
for recommending the tape idea. So mystery solved. It's nice to know that it's not the product, it's not the company. It happens not universally with all powder products, but I guess some are more absorbent than others. Um, it's also a lesson that we should keep our brushes a little bit cleaner. I know I could clean mine a little more often. Thanks everybody for taking the time to watch, and I hope that you learned something today just like I did. All right, so have a great day, everybody. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.